Okay, so here is a MacBook, but how do you know which year it is from? This is the topic of this video, but it's crucial to know some things about it, because first of all, there is like a distinction between a MacBook release date and a MacBook purchase date. And this applies to any device or any phone, computer or whatever, because this, for example, is the MacBook Air 2020 version with the M1 chip, which is fine and everything. So, of course, it's the 2020 release date, but I purchased it one year later in 2021. So that's the difference. In order to find out which series it is, like the release date, when it officially became available for the public, you can easily get there by, I mean, there are two ways to actually get inside. And first, you can go to the Apple logo in the upper left corner and click on about this Mac. You're going to get to like an information panel about your Mac, about the current version of the Mac OS. But one of the first things in here is the MacBook Air M1 2020. So in my case, is the M1 MacBook. You can see that it was released in 2020, like I said. Of course, I purchased it a bit later, so it doesn't tell us anything about it here. Anyways, you also have this serial number at the bottom, which you can copy and go to this page, which is the official Apple's coverage page. And there you can actually see and find when you paste that serial number in, of course, uh, some more additional information about the Mac, about the device. So it's going to tell you if the warranty is still there, if it's uh, like a valid purchase date, so Apple knows everything about the, this device. There are plenty of more information. And of course, if you are if you are like buying it secondhand, I definitely at least copy the serial number and paste it in here to see if it's a valid purchase because yeah, it tells you a bit more about it. But what I want to say is whenever you paste the serial number there, you're going to get the same information. It's going to tell you again, is the MacBook Air with the M1 chip from 2020. So uh, yeah, like it's some basic information about it. So either in the about window or if you have the serial number for some reason, you can also just paste it to this website. It's going to be linked down below and you're gonna find out about it but like I said if I would want to find out when exactly I purchased it uh, there are some possible ways to find it out of course if you have a receipt that would be the best option to see the purchase date and if you just buy it secondhand ask for it and ask uh, them to provide you some sort of um, a receipt or something which you can see like an invoice when the uh, MacBook was purchased and if not you can again copy the serial number and on this page you can also see the um, the warranty info and it also depends on the product because let's say if, if we were talking about the M2 MacBook Air it literally cannot be older than just a couple of years I mean it was just released so it cannot be like three years old of course but if you paste the number in here it's going to tell you if it's the valid if it has a valid uh, warranty so if not you can expect that it was at least two years old and so you definitely need to know more about it but this is pretty much how it works these are just like a quick tips for you to find out when the macbook was released and when you purchased it hope this video helped you out and if you'd like to see and find out that the purchase date of an iPhone is actually a bit simpler because it's an iPhone, it has an email number. I mean, make sure to check out this video right here in which I kind of go and dive deep into the topic. Definitely go ahead and check it out.